All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the myths in the Marine Corps. I'm not talking about ghost stories. I'm not talking about, you know, Marine legends. No, we're talking about the questions and the things that are told to people before they join the Marine Corps. I'm going to debunk all of the most common myths in the Marine Corps. So let's get into it. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you're not missing anything from me. But let's go ahead and get into these myths that the Marine Corps have. The first one is you get to pick your job. I'm going to tell you firsthand, no, you don't get to pick your specific job, but yes, you do get to pick your job field. So for instance, for me, I chose the infantry. Now, some recruiters will say, you know, what do you want to do in the infantry? And you'll tell them, oh, I want to be a machine gun. And they're like, oh yeah, you got that for sure. Yeah, just sign right here and you're good to go. No, that's not the case. You're signing up for a job field, not a specific job. Now, in some cases, I believe you can sign up for a specific job, but in most instances, you're just signing up for a job field. So do not, do not, do not get your hopes set on um, that you're going to get the specific job that you want. And I'll give you an example. So for all those people that want to be a combat engineer, you're signing up to be you know, in the engineering field. You're not guaranteed to become a combat engineer. So that myth debunked the second one is that you get to pick your duty station uh, i remember when i you know first walked into the office and got to hear about all the duty stations you know hawaii california japan all these places i'm like dang that sounds dope as fuck and you know your recruiter's gonna tell you yeah you can you want to go to hawaii bro i got you like you're you're going you like i just need you to sign this contract and i need you to just go to boot camp and you know the marine corps is going to handle you from there and yes he is correct he or she is going to be correct they're going to handle you from there and they're going to put you wherever they want to put you now granted you do get a wish list so you do get to kind of rank where you want to go but at the end of the day the marine corps is just going to put you where they want to put you so it's a myth you don't really get to pick where you want to go now i will say though after your first, you know, contracts over, after your first enlistment, you do actually get to pick where you want to go. It's kind of like the Marine Corps way of saying, OK, if you're going to enlist again, then, yeah, you get to go wherever you want to go. But right off the bat, no, you're not going to just go wherever you want to go. It's at the end of the day, it's up to the Marine Corps. A big one, a big one is that you get to switch your job. Now, I have heard so many recruiters tell people that, you know, two years in, if you don't like your job, you can lap move and switch to another MOS. Now. I recently talked to a recruiter and I talked to him about this and he was like, I mean, it's not a lie. Like you really can do it. I was able to do it just because maybe 10 people in the Marine Corps have done it before. doesn't mean everybody can do it because I promise you, I've literally witnessed people try to get out of the infantry. It's not going to happen. It's not. You can, you know, beg, you can plead, you can cry. You're not getting out the infantry until those four years, six years, whatever you signed up for is over. And then you have the possibility of, you know, taking the ASVAP again if you need to, to get the score to go to another MOS. But during your first enlistment, it is going to be so, so very hard to, you know, switch your job. Now, just like this recruiter told me recently, I mean, you just really had bad leadership. That's why, you know, these opportunities weren't given to you in the Marine Corps. Well, if that's the case, the Marine Corps must have a lot of bad leaders because I haven't really heard of anybody just switching their job within their first enlistment or within a, within an enlistment, just lat moving like that. So don't get your hopes on if, you know, you're deciding to join the infantry and you're like, well, if I don't like it, my recruiter told me I can, you know, get out of it, you know, after two years, something like that. No, I'm going to let you know, whatever you sign up for, just be prepared to be doing it for however long you signed your contract for. Another one is that you get to go home whenever. That is not the case. I promise you, it really isn't. Um, it's up to your command ultimately. So yeah, you can request to go home. That does not mean it's gonna get approved. It doesn't really matter what it's for either. Um, you can set, tell them, oh, my brother's about to graduate from you know high school or you know, um, even I've heard it to where there's a funeral coming up in my family. You know, my uncle passed away or my aunt passed away. Uh, they don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's your immediate family, like something happened to your mom, dad, grandma, something like that. You're not just going to go home out of the blue. And then even if you're like having a kid, you're not just going to be able to up and leave and go home. So when it comes down to going home, in most cases, you're going to just go home, you know, on holidays. So Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, things like that. That's when I would tell you to really look forward to going home. Other than that, I mean, you can ask. And if it gets approved, it does. And if it doesn't, then mm. also... When it comes down to going home, let's say you're you're stationed in Camp Lejeune, you live in California, you're gonna always have to get a plane ticket. 
I mean, I wouldn't drive that far anyways, but yeah. Um, and I was saying that because let's say you live, you know, maybe New York, they're going to prefer you not to drive from North Carolina to New York. And sometimes that plane ticket is going to be a thousand bucks, 800 bucks versus you driving there. And it might take you 13 hours and you're spending maybe like 300 bucks on gas. Um, they would rather you fly and they're not going to allow you to drive because of the distance. Now, I would tell you there's ways around that, but I'm not just going to tell you, you know, what they are. But there are ways around that. So with the whole going home process, it's not just, oh, I want to go home. I'm going to put it in uh, my vacation days and I, they're going to approve and go home. No, it's not that easy. And the last one is that you're going to be rich. Ah, you're going to be rich. There's so many recruiters out there that people have contacted me. You know, uh, young men and women have contacted me saying my recruiter said I'm going to be making a lot of money. Is that true? I will tell you this. Um, starting off in the Marine Corps, no, you're not going to be making a lot of money. Now, the longer you stay in, yes, you're going to, you know, your money is going to increase as with any other career field that you stay in longer, you're going to increase. And a lot of people will say, well, yeah, um, it's kind of compensated. You know, your pay is kind of compensated with you not having to pay for housing and a light bill, a water bill, you get to eat and things like that. Yes, that is very, very true. But at the end of the day, I do not believe that, you know, the military as a whole is, you know, paid what they should for the amount of work that's put in. And I will tell you, I think what your first two years in the Marine Corps, you're barely making 20K a year. So yeah, don't look forward to becoming a millionaire by joining the Marine Corps. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I tried to come up with the most common myths. If there's some more myths you want me to debunk or you know shed some light on, please leave them down in the comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you're not missing anything from me. But as always guys, thanks for watching.